Hello, my name is Jim Kay and I'm an illustrator. This is where I work, in a small studio on the back of the house. The studio is south facing so that's wonderful for light especially in summer uh, so it's very nice first thing in the morning to open the back door and uh, listen to uh, everything that's happening outside. It's only a small garden but it's just as important as the studio because I get most of my ideas when I'm out there, you know, I find wildlife endlessly uh, inspiring and a lot of my work draws from the things that I see just a few yards outside the studio. This might sound silly but I get a lot of ideas uh, from plants, the structure of plants in particular and that might influence uh, architecture when you're drawing or it might be colour, you'll see a colour outside and think well that could work you know so I'll, I'll carry it across to the uh, studio and have a go. It could be a line or a shape, the, the way a plant moves around an object that might give you an idea or it could be a composition, you, you might see a group of plants and they give you an idea for a, a drawing you know so it's, it's always there, the inspiration is always outside and it's just waiting for you to utilise it. Uh, and you do a quick sketch when you see something and it might sit, I don't know, for one or two years in your sketchbook but eventually something from the natural world comes up and, and it will reappear in a drawing. I'll often work late into the night as well. And at the moment I've just started another illustration for the Harry Potter book, uh, The Chamber of Secrets, which is the second in the series, you know. And it's an illustration of some spiders. I'm quite lucky because there are lots of spiders in the studio, so there's always reference material close at hand. You may have noticed that small model sat next to me when I was painting. I make models to help me with my illustrations. It's very useful if you've got to draw something quite complicated like um, a tower that's shaped like a dragon and you've got to draw it from different angles under different lighting conditions. Well if you make a model then you can hold it any which way you like you know, and light it however you like, uh, such as this steam train I did for the front cover of the Harry Potter book. And it's a great reference tool. The same for Hogwarts, I make quick models out of paper and uh, plasticine and I can light them however I want them, I've always got that reference. 
Oh, and here's that spider picture. I'm nearly finished. Thank you for watching.